Today, we're going to challenge Omar and Nicholas to read the first big game story. Let's do it! Hello, I'm Omar and Nicholas. Today, we're going to read a story. It's called The First Big Game by Kim Borland. Let's start. Chapter 1, Saturday's Game. Saturday had finally arrived. I grabbed my cat and waited for the door. Hold on, Robbie. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Asked Mama. It's Saturday, Mama. I'm going to the park to play with my friends. I said, another game of flounders? Mama asked with a grin. Right. I said, my all-time favorite game. Walked. I thought up about all the fun I would have. I like to throw, catch, and hit. But what I really like is to run around the bases. How many rounders will I score for my team today? I wondered when I got to the park, everyone was standing around waiting. Hi everyone, uh, sorry, I'm late. I said cheerfully, Charlie didn't return my smi smile. We are too, he said grumpily. We couldn't start the game without you. Why not? I asked puzzled. It looks like you have everything you need to play. You have four bases, a bat, and a right, said Charlie. We need a ball. It was your turn to bring it. Don't worry, I replied confidently. It's in my pocket. In my pocket. But when I looked, the ball wasn't there. I looked everywhere. I walked back the way. I had to come. But the ball was nowhere to be found. I guess I dropped it. I whispered. Then we can't play our Zitz. He looked mad. Through two at dinner. I looked everywhere. I said, It was my turn to bring the ball and I lost it. I don't know where we can find another one. Ball balls are expensive, Sam. Charlie and I all converted our pocket money to buy that ball. I let everybody down. Maybe you will never be available to play ever again. I fought back my tear. Mama said, not to worry, but I did anyways. I have some news that might put a smile on your face. Papa said, how would you like to go to a baseball game with me? Baseball? What's that? It's a bat and a ball keep two teams complete to win a game. It's a lot like rounders, your all-time favorite game. Everybody chimed in, but different. Papa continued, the teams playing are called the New York Club and the New York Kenner Buckers, he explained. Let's look in today's new paper. Papa said, here it is. The game is on June 19. That's next Friday. It's her in Hookbunker. Hookbunker? What's that in New Jersey? Papa said, Papa, we live in New York. I said in surpri surprise. How we will get there by a horse and a buggy? No, said Papa. That would take too long. We will take the ferry across the Hudson River. Rounders is a good form of reaction, but everyone plays by different rules. Papa explained with a baseball. The rules are the same for everyone. There are always four bases and nine players on a team. Also, you are tapped out, out uh, rather then having the ball. If F uh, throw it at you, that's much safer. If everyone has the same rules, you could play with anyone. I said excitedly. As we watched the game, Papa explained the rules before I knew it. It, it was near the end of the game. 
there were two owls. Suddenly, everyone became quiet. The butcher stepped out up to home plate. Strike one, strike two. The pitcher heard the ball. The batter took a swing. Crack the ball towards the players and all the fans stopped moving. We watched the, the ball fly over the cupboard. It was coming closer and closer. Could I catch the ball? I asked myself. I took a deep breath. I kept my eye on the ball. I held out my hands. I caught the ball! The cow, the cow cheered and congrats. Robbie, Papa said, you can use it to play with your friends. Great idea. Great idea, I said. We can use this ball when we play rounders. There you see, said Papa. You probably saw. Right, but now I have another problem. I said seriously, what's what problem is that? He asked. I grinned. Now I have two all-time favorite games, rounders and baseball. Well, Papa laughed. That sounds like a problem anyone would be lucky to have. And he was right. I was lucky. I thought that Omar didn't win, but he wins, so big clap for him.